guys, so I know you probably can't hear me, but I'm going right now to get my DOT inspection. Uh, I figured I'd bring you guys along and see if we pass, see if we fail, see what needs to be gone over if we do fail. Uh, but the goal is today to get this truck through the DOT inspection um, and go from there. So I'm going to bring you along. Hopefully the video is long enough and uh, let's get into it. All right, well, that was um, anticlimactic. We passed. <laughs> we passed. All right, so I know you guys probably aren't going to believe this, but yes, we did get a DOT sticker uh, it's sitting back there um, on the outside. So we passed with flying colors. And um, so now we just got to go get another physical because it's been a while. Um, I kind of want to go over with everybody what my kind of game plan is because I never really told anybody and I definitely want to commit this time knowing um, a little bit more about finances and just a lot of other stuff that I've learned over the years. Also, we got a P.O. box. I, th that's why on this sticker you're not going to see my actual address. So I'm going to show you guys the sticker. There you go. We did pass. Uh, we did get a P.O. box because obviously I'm not going to put my actual address on here. Um, but everything's good to go this thing definitely needs a bath but he did say about the gray area with the tires and the green lights so besides those two things he said but you could leave go fix it and we won't and then you know I could leave again after I pass and he gives me a sticker and then just put it back um, but they didn't say anything about mud flaps I do have mud flaps in case I need them ignore the laundry um, I just went and did that, but yeah, so I do, I did make mention that I do have all the like factory bulbs and everything. I I'm running LEDs all the way around and I'm working on a conversion kit for the rear. Um, so I can run LEDs back there too. Um, they're just a lot brighter and I feel like, you know, a lot, a lot safer on the road. Obviously I'm going to be replacing the headlights. They didn't say anything about the lights. So we're good there, uh, the, like the housings. So we're good there, but while I'm driving home, I want to go over with you guys uh, kind of my game plan and go from there. All right, so same thing as last time. It seems like the audio came through pretty decently, um, so it wasn't too bad. I'm loving the GoPro uh, with the, uh, the microphone. So, as you guys know, started around January, I started doing Mobile Mechanic. Now, over the past two years, I've been pretty consistent with what I've been doing. Um, I started in October of 2018. Uh, doing transport and before that I went I was actually doing towing through my own business um, and then I got out of it and started doing transport as per one of the managers that I had working for me um, he kind of got us into it I had no idea what hotshot was uh, back in the day so we just started moving RVs and campers and I realized how much money I was making doing it like a guy with low overhead with literally just this truck I mean, I was making in between two and $5,000 a week. And for somebody who's not used to that, that's quite a decent bit of money, even though, you know, it's all gross. So you got to take out your, your fuel and your expenses on the truck. But being an automotive enthusiast, I like to spend money on my vehicle anyway. So it really didn't bother me as much when I needed to fix something. So I did uh, RV hauling and power only up until probably about October-ish of 2019, and then I went back with the company that I was work that I had before. Um, I was running a tow truck for them, and I really wasn't making any money. I went from making two to five thousand dollars a week to hey, here's a three hundred dollar to four hundred dollar paycheck weekly, and I'm like, I can't live off of this. So started around January time, um, I at least through that shop I was I decided to start doing more mechanic stuff so I started investing in tools more and more because it was something that I was good at and I enjoyed doing it um, so I invested in more tools like I said I spent probably about seven grand in tools last year got a toolbox um, had this truck I set it up to have all my tools in it um, even though I have way more tools than what will actually fit in here was able to narrow it down to the nitty gritty to what I needed and I started doing mobile work on top of doing some shop work this all started with Alex tow piglet um, and I was like I actually kind of enjoy this it's making decent money 
and I went from there. Now, don't get me wrong, it was a decent pay cut from the transport. Like, I think I took home half of what I took home with uh, transport, but it still paid my bills all last year. So between that, I went from doing towing and transport to the mobile mechanic stuff. Now, obviously, everything that I've done, I can do with this truck, which is kind of why I like this thing. I can tear it apart, and I don't have to worry about it. And it's just a fucking cheap, what, $15,000 is what I was into this truck when I bought it, and it just, it's so cheap. There's no, like, really any overhead cost except for a little bit of maintenance. Now, the new plan is I'm not going to be stopping doing the mechanic stuff. I'm going to try to keep it consistent and keep going with it. So, I am leasing on with a company, as you guys know. I'm not going to make mention of the company name, at least for a few months. Um, they've already told me that I could. I would prefer to make sure that my name gets out there good before I make it look bad for another company. The guys that I, I, uh, I had a broker before that I was doing a lot of my loads for, and he had said that I was one of the best drivers that he had actually had for him. I've never been late with this truck, and I've scared him a few times. I've gotten to the point where, like, I was like, hey, um, this broke, and I still made it to the drop-offs on time, and I mean, it was pretty damn close, but, you know, everything on this thing is pretty quick and easy to fix, but again, I'm going to be, I, I'm not going to announce who I'm working for or any of that until at a later date. They told me I could, I just, out of respect for them, and I want to make sure that, you know, what I'm doing is a positive influence first. I don't want to drag anyone's name through the mud or anything like that. I mean, I fully expect that everything is going to go fine, but you never really know. Anything can happen. So I just, like I said, I just want to make sure everything's good first. But I do plan on running power only for a good bit of time. I know what power only can make when you have low overhead, and I know what it can make when you're dedicated. Now, I have a dedicated, or I have a specific schedule that I need to work for until March. March is when I can go full bore and hit it as hard as possible. Until then, I need to keep my overhead as low as possible. Now, after that, I have really been looking at Kaufman trailers um, coming from towing. I used to move cars a lot, and even though cars are a pain in the ass, I feel like it's a lot simpler than freight, and I like to keep it simple. So I was looking at either a two or three car carrier for non-CDL at 26,000. It is doable, it is very hard to keep your weights low. I know, go get a CDL, stop it. I could go get the CDL, but I'm still gonna run this truck at 26,000 or less. There's no reason for me to run at 2,500 at that rate, and I love this truck. And for anybody telling me to go get a new truck, I'm gonna buy a second one of these just to piss those people off. I'll go buy a second one. But in the meantime, I'm gonna keep running this truck. If anything ever happens to it, I will rebuild this truck over and over and over again and not care what somebody says. You know, if somebody totals this truck, I'll go buy another parts truck or a frame or something just to swap this thing over, just because I can. So that's just my preference. That's what I would prefer to do. But we're gonna run it for a few months, see how we are, see what our finances are in a couple months. I've spent the last couple years saving up money, so I know financially I'm in a decent spot, but that's gonna be kind of my game plan is run for a few months, save as much money as possible. The whole first year, um, basically just gonna throw as much money in savings as possible, spend as little as possible. I have a specific figure of how much money I wanna have in my bank account by the end of the year. Uh, in savings set aside so if one day maybe we do go get a new truck I probably will not use that truck full-time I just kind of want something show but these guys need to start making reliable trucks before I even pull that trigger anyway I'm so tired of the emissions problems the CP4 problems and all these other problems because I work on these trucks for a living so I get to see the shit and it's just ridiculous that y'all keep telling me to buy a new truck and it's like nobody has anything that's reliable. They keep bragging about these horsepower and torque numbers, but not the reliability. That's kind of my game plan. Save as much money as possible, run the power only for a couple months, maybe look at a two or three car carrier and go from there. I'm gonna be giving you guys accurate numbers. I wanna show you guys exactly what I can make, um, exactly what your expenses are gonna be, what you can expect when the truck breaks. And obviously we're gonna have breakdowns sometime. You just need to suck it up and fix the truck 
when the time comes. It doesn't matter if you're on the side of the road. It doesn't matter if it's pouring down rain. You need to suck it up and deal with it. All right, so we got our DOT card and we are good. I didn't pass the first time. Uh, the first time I went to go do it like years ago. So it's kind of nice that I was able to go in and get it done. Um, and then I just washed the truck because there is salt everywhere on this thing. But other than that, we are pretty much ready to go and uh, I just need to re-register the truck. We're gonna be doing that Friday. And uh, other than that, then we gotta get a road trip out to um, our employer. We're good to go.